What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Kakashi from Naruto. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we start from the very top. Just gonna lightly work our way down the middle, come down towards the bottom. Now let's go to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. Now I'm going to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of a page. So from that center point, let's step up, mark off the top of our circle. And I want to take that same distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line, measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle, let's start with the top left. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. I can always go back and just smooth this out. Let's add another line coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left coming down. Do the same thing on the right. And I'm going to extend this up towards the top. Now from the center of our circle, let's step down. It's going to mark off the bottom of the headband. So right about here. Let's connect the side of our circle to that center point with a curve. We're going to come down across and then back up. Now from the side of our circle, we're gonna step up, draw a straight line going across. Now halfway between that center line and the side of our circle, draw another line going down on both sides. Now we're gonna start blocking out the facial features. Let's start by adding a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's step over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down. Take that same distance from the center over towards the right. From the bottom edge of the headband, we'll step down, angle the eyebrow, going up and then out underneath the headband. Halfway along the brow, let's angle the eye, going up and out on both sides. And then from the outside, curve the eye coming down and just bend that in. And then push the iris and pupil towards the top. So on the left, draw a half circle. And we want to just lightly block this in. Let's go to the bottom of our circle, draw a straight line going all the way across from left to right. Step down, mark off the chin with another straight line. Now you want to add some shape to the head. Starting from the side of our circle, it's going to angle the head coming down and then in towards the jaw. From the jaw, angle this down and in towards the chin, leaving a gap in the center. Now let's go in between the eyes towards that center line. So we curve this down and then out towards the jaw for the edge of the mask. And then in the middle, I'm just going to round this out. From the jaw, let's step in, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. Now let's go out to the side and draw in the ears. We're just going to angle this up and out, come straight down the side, angle this down and in towards the jaw. Now along the side of the head, we're going to add some hair coming in. So starting underneath the headband, bend this down and in on the side, go out and back up. Now we're going to move up to the top and add in the hair. Let's start from the side of the headband on the end, bend this up and out, taper that back in. I'm just going to work our way across towards the top and then back down towards the top of our circle. Now you want to brush the hair over towards the right side. So we're going to add these points going up and across, bring that down, bend that out and back in. Let's add another point. Now along the top right side of the headband, we're just going to layer the hair coming down. So come down and across, go back up, down towards the side and back in and a few small points coming along the side of the head. Now I just want to wrap the collar around the neck. Let's start from the top of the neck, bend this around and then in, and straight down towards the bottom. Let's move up and trace the outside of the collar, coming around and then down, bend that in. Then on the side, draw a straight line coming down. I'm just going to slope the shoulders, going out towards the side. 
Now that we have a rough sketch, I'm gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. So erasing all that detail inside the hair. Now we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape and proportions. I'm gonna start by just darkening off the bottom edge of the headband, coming in towards the middle and then up. And we'll go back and just add some more shape to the brow. Coming in, just gonna add a fold along the inside of the brow. Going back and just adding some more shape to the eyelid. I'm just going to lightly add in that scar over the right eye. I'm just going to separate the hair along the side. Just tuck that up underneath the headband. Now I'm just going to modify the shape of the jawline. Just pulling this down a little bit lower towards the chin. And just rounding this out. And we'll add some folds inside the ear. Just working our way across the side of the headband, going up towards the top. And we're just going to layer the hair on top of the headband, coming down the right side. Just going to layer these spikes going out. Rough in that symbol in the center. Now I want to go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add some more detail and shading. Now we're going to go in and start darkening up our contrast and refine the shape.
I'm just going to go back and just thicken up the inside of that symbol. Now I'm going to switch to the flat edge of my pencil and start adding some shadows. We're going to start along the top of the eye, darkening this up underneath the eyebrow, and then fading that out around the outside. Also adding some shadows across the inside of the eye, going around the side of the nose. going to bring that shadow across the side of the head coming in to create a little bit of a highlight on the outside of the cheek. I'm just going to add a light medium shade to the mask and the neck area. And then darken up the bottom edge of the mask and then fade that up. It's going to cast a shadow across the neck, so we'll darken over the top and then blend that down. I'm just darken up the inside of the collar going around the hair and then blend that out towards the side. Add that medium shade to the headband going around that metal plate. And it'll darken up the center and then blend that out. Now I'm gonna add a metallic finish to the inside of that metal plate. So it's gonna darken up the left side and then fade that in. Leave a gap, add another shade going across. Add one more on the right side. I'm going to add a glare across the top edge of the metal, so adding a little band going across, adding one along the side in between the rivets, and just bend that down towards the bottom. Let's add a few short lines going up and down across the metal. I'm just going to add some shadow across the bottom edge of the hair, just adding these thick bands of texture going up. And then from the tip of the hair, we'll do the same thing, just pulling this across.
Now, as we get near the end, we're just gonna add a little bit more detail to the hair and the mask, and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Kakashi from Naruto. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I post a new lessons every single week. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you, and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description, and I'll see you in the club.